Yeah, Coach Long is definitely going to criticize you, and you have to use that because, I mean, you're going to go in the film room, and it, 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 it sucks. I mean, you play if – you, if you have a bad game, you really, really don't look forward to the film session the next day because he will rip you, and he will sit in that film room for three hours and come for your head and make you realize that it's not okay. And that's what makes you develop into a great player is, is the fact that he's willing to do that to you, even though he loves – like, he loves us to death. Like, he tells me he loves me all the time. And – I mean, for him to be able to do that to you, it shows you that he loves you because he wants to see the best come out of you. And so, I mean, that's why, that, that's, that's kind of what makes you realize and kind of what pushes you to, to be better every single game is because you know, like, okay, I got to do this for my teammates, I got to do this for me. And if I want to be the great player that he says I can be, and if I, I came here for, the, for those reasons just to be a great basketball player, then I'm going to do these things. And so, I mean, it all kind of comes full circle. The last thing for me, uh, a year ago, and our questions to you are, hey, what do you think about nobody believing in you? Now the questions are, what do you think about all the high expectations? I mean, what, what do you think of the last year and, and kind of the development Tennessee has made? I mean, in my opinion, we're in the same position. The only thing that's different is the expectations, you know. Last year, we knew we could be good, and we knew we had the team. We had the depth that we had. We always talking about the depth that our team had last year. And, you know, um, people were underestim as underestimating us, and we came out and we proved everybody wrong. Now the only difference is that, you know, people – know now and that people are going to be expecting things and that people are going to be game planning for us and that's the only difference we still know what we can do and who we the players we have and the coach we have and the coach is and so that's the only thing that changes you know now it's just up to us to be able to, to live to expectations so we just got to put the hype behind us and just focus on the job thanks Scott. Well, so i'll go ahead well you know, Coach Barnes, I think he was a little bit more focused on the on the game, but um, I got the x-ray, and the x-ray came back clean. But, um, you know, when I was going out there to try and stretch, Coach Lanier came up to me and said, okay, well, let's see what you can do. So I went out there, and I could barely jump, couldn't run, couldn't do anything, and then he came up to me and said, okay, so this, he's like, this is a little different for you now. It's like you can't be on the court. So he said, now you have to you have to do the things from the, from the bench. You know, you have to talk, you have to encourage, you have to – you know, just be vocal and all that stuff. So, I mean, it definitely was a role change, you know, going from kind of like somebody who's on the court being like a leader and helping out to being somebody who's on the sidelines and kind of doing those things. So, I mean, it was different for me. Do you feel like that's helped enhance the way you can contribute to the team going in now you have a whole other set of skills? Yeah, I mean, it's different. Well, first of all, it's different watching a game from the sidelines, seeing everything from a whole new perspective. You know, when you're on the court and you're tired and you're in it, you see things differently from when you're on the side and you're kind of watching things and analyzing. But... Um, no, I think it definitely did help. How, so how are you taking that and applying it to this season? Um, because I'm not taking anything for granted now, you know. that I wanted to be in that game so badly. You don't understand. It's my first NCAA tournament, um, and you never know what's going to happen. Like, we never know what's going to happen this year. So, I mean, I don't never know if I'm going to be in that position again. Um, God willing, we are. God willing, we all are. But, you know, it's just I don't take anything for granted now. You know, I wanted to be in that game, and so I'm taking everything taking everything seriously, and I'm definitely looking forward to possibly being in that situation again. Between you and that Players' Tribune video and Admiral with the whole you know, football thing, you guys got some active skills. Oh, thank what, you. Uh, <laughs> what, uh, you, know, you guys ever talk about that kind of stuff, like make fun of each other or anything like that? I mean, I think everybody on this team knows I like TV and film production. You know, I'm the one on the team who makes the videos for people, and we'll go and cut clips from VFL films so people can post on Instagram. But um, you know, definitely some guys on the team were telling Admiral that he could be an actor from that video. Um, and he's done a couple of videos now where he's he's done put some uh, some spirit into some via, some ball fans. So you know, maybe he might. I don't know. He has a good portfolio behind him. Um, and from you know, I, I know it's I'm sure it's tough to even talk about like me Dallas and all of that, but like. Being in the locker room right after that game, I mean, that was tough. Like, you could tell you guys were hurting. Um, how, like, be, be honest, like, how, how long did it take you all to kind of move past that and finally turn the page? Man, I mean, I still, I'm not going to lie to you, I still haven't watched that game because I saw it firsthand from the sideline and I don't want to, I kind of just want to put that behind me. So I still haven't watched the film from that game. I know some guys on my team who haven't, but um, I know it took some some people, I know, it, I think one of my coaches told me it took them two weeks to get over it. Um, I know it took, you just put so much time in. We're in here every single day, you know, every single day, just twice a day, three times a day, just putting in work because we want to. We want to be great. And it, it worked out, you know, it, it it showed in how far we were able to get last season. But for it to end like that, it's just rough. But, um, you know, <laughs> I mean, I saw it. I saw it. it was so, so what do you do to make sure that doesn't happen? 
I mean, you do it. Co- I mean, the coaches go back, they watch the film, and they coach based on that. And you know, they, they change things. You know, I know coaches. I know so. I know Coach Barnes. I know some moments this this summer and so far this preseason where Coach Barnes has brought that up and said, "Do you know how we lost that last game?" And we'll come at certain players. So, I mean. Um, as, as basketball players, though, you you know you don't want to be back in that situation, so it's kind of a personal thing. We talked a, a lot this morning about you know, trying to get people comfortable, trying to get people to take that next step in their he game. He said that? Yeah. yeah. As, as a team. <laughs> so, like, what, I mean, what do you, um, you know, what have you noticed this summer trying to make people comfortable and get you, you personally to take a next step? Yeah, no, I know I've been I've been subject to, to a lot of it this summer. Um, yeah, I've definitely been a part of that. I think I probably had the bigger hand in most of that, uh, I would say. But um, he's just, I mean, the term he would use is hiding. You know, he just doesn't want anybody hiding this year. You know, he doesn't want all the pressure to be on Grant and AD. You know, um, he wants everybody to know that the whole team can play. And he wants everybody on this team to know that, you know, we have a role to play in, in helping this team be successful. And so he's not letting anybody, anybody hide. He wants everybody to be consistent because, you know, Lord knows I wasn't consistent last year. So. I mean, he just—he just definitely wants everybody to play their play their part and play their role. So he's—he's he's not wrong. He's definitely—he's uh, <laughs> definitely been coming at some people. Yeah. You know, what What are your expectations for yourself? That's every year. You know, I kind of give a basic answer, but it's the truth. You know, I just want consistency. You know, I know my freshman year was I had like one or I had like maybe three or four games where I played well, and then my sophomore year I had like a little segment where I played well, then I wouldn't play well, then I had a segment where I played well, and then last year I had some games, but I also had some games where I didn't show up. So, you know, as a senior, I think it's my job and my duty to be consistent every single game and to be a player that people can rely on, and so that's kind of my thing. Is, I, I mean, you guys don't even just have hype. You're like top five in some of these polls compared to last year. I mean, you literally think there's a lot of guesses. Just how, how did it? No, it, it is different. You know, you you're treated a little differently. You know, on campus and people. Yeah, people. But, but even the, the expectations from from national media, I guess. Well, and I don't know how much you look at, but just yeah, in, in general, how much you're getting talked about, where there almost wasn't any. I mean, I really haven't noticed a lot of like the not the national media stuff. You know, I kind of just see every now and then I'll see a ranking when I'm scrolling down Twitter. You know, some of you guys tweeting like where we are ranked. In the nationally, but I mean, I haven't really heard much of the other stuff, you know. I mean, maybe I just don't do a good job of keeping up with it. That's probably good. Yeah.